I don't think it's right when a small cameo appearance is made out to be something much bigger than it is. But sometimes, people get upset with a cameo by a big star for no reason other than it exists. As an example, ladies and gentlemen, may I present Ed Sheeran in Game of Thrones? A young man at the top of his game. Why shouldn't he have a bit of fun? He was excited about it, as you can see here. There he is. Yeah, yeah. Ed Sheeran spills the beans, which actually, incidentally, is how Asda suggests you serve them, so... <laughs> But, uh, he spills the beans on his Game of Thrones role. I don't think he could possibly have anticipated the anger his short cameo would go on to generate. So much abuse that, according to The Telegraph, it drove him off Twitter. Oh, poor old Ed Sheeran. According to The Guardian, his cameo was dire, uh, while The Metro just wanted to know why he was there in the first place. I genuinely don't know quite how he merits so much abuse. He seems like quite a nice chap, after all. But I had to look as far as Miami to find a headline that accurately summed up my feelings on this issue. Now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, when the top half of the internet is acting like this, you can only imagine what was steaming <laughs> around the bottom half. I've read every single comment I could find on this story. I do it so that you don't have to. I've, I've taken those comments and turned them into something that I think is more beautiful, something that I like to call a found poem. I would like to perform for you now. Ed Sheeran is not an actor, and Game of Thrones is not top of the pops. So please get that drippy strummer off my TV now. <laughs> drippy strummer. Nice one. <laughs> he can strum me drippy anytime. <laughs> People need to understand that their opinion on this issue is just not wanted. And I include me in that. <laughs> So, seeing as my opinion is as worthless as yours, let me give it to you straight. <laughs> Sherios and Thronies are two of the best fandoms. And two of the best fandoms should unite, not fight. Sherio Thronies forever. <laughs> I hate celeb cameos in films. Rain Man should have been a brilliant film because Dustin Hoffman is a brilliant actor. But they ruined it by giving Tom Cruise a really big cameo. <laughs> Putting Ed Sheeran in Game of Thrones just because you like Ed Sheeran is like Man United picking Greg Wallace as a centre forward <laughs> just because they quite like Masterchef. <laughs> I quite like Masterchef, but I'm not asking Greg Wallace to time up my drive. <laughs> Singers sing, actors act. Tarmac as Tarmac, <laughs> and Greg Wallace is a greengrocer. <laughs> End of. Ed Sheeran, lucky busker. <laughs> the Game of Thrones is nothing more than pornography. Some of the so-called actresses even have a history as porn stars. That is not exactly something to be proud of. Yes, it is. <laughs> When I was at school, there was a boy who looked like Ed Sheeran. We didn't know it at the time, because Ed Sheeran wasn't famous yet. <laughs> anyway, when Ed first became famous, I wondered if it was actually him. And then I remembered that his name was Peter. <laughs> so it isn't him. <laughs> I bet Peter hasn't been in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Haters gonna hate, but whatever they think, one thing's for certain, Ed Sheeran is class. 